Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. On today's video, we're going to show you five ways that we reuse tree branches in the garden, either from trees that we pruned or from stuff we found in the forest. By the way, there's my pregnant wife, our two-year-old, and our dog, Jax. Let's get started. So one of the trees that we prune each year is this crepe myrtle tree. Now, crepe myrtles are great because they produce long, straight, thick branches that you're supposed to prune every year, and you can use them for a lot of different things. All right, so the first way we're using these branches is a pea trellis. So I took six or seven crepe myrtle branches, stuck them into the ground in a circle, brought them up here to the top, tied them off the string. So it gives a nice little teepee. Planted a bunch of sugar snap peas in the bottom. They're gonna climb up. Have a nice little trellis. The second way we're using them is for plant labels. Check that out. Super easy. Looks really nice. So whenever we pruned the crepe myrtles, I saved these little uh, one foot chunks and you simply shave off the top of them. Has a nice fresh white label area for you. You write what you want on there and you get a cool label. Now it really only lasts the season, but by next year you'll have more crepe myrtle branches or whatever you find and you can just do it all again and toss those out. The third way we're using them is for grids for our bed. So cut these branches off, nailed them down. Now, as you can see, as they got wet and dried, they got a bit warped. So it's not perfect squares, but it does make a nice free grid that you can reuse materials for. And I think it looks kind of nice. It's a nice contrast to the string that we have over here. Which one do you like better? The fourth way we're using these branches is for our tomatoes. I've made these stakes for them. They're going to grow up along these great little branches. How I've done that is I've taken these metal U-posts. These are just metal posts. Hammered them into the ground so they're nice and sturdy. And then I zip tied these nice tall crepe myrtle branches. So these are about, I'm standing up straight right here. It's about six feet. So we got another seven or eight feet of growth there. Now, honestly, I'm not fully confident that these won't bend over as they get really tall. You know, tomatoes might start kind of leaning over, but we'll see. We don't have to worry about that quite yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, they'll start off just growing up right there, perfect, and I think it'll look really nice. So there you go, steaks for your tomatoes. All right, and the fifth way that we're reusing these branches is as decoration. So here's the first thing I want to show you. We got these sticks from my rock pit. So we got these sticks from your rock pit, that's right. These are branches from the crepe myrtles also, and Wesley made this cool little entrance to his rock pit. Awesome, bud. Thanks for sharing. And the rest of the decorations are just logs and sticks and branches and stuff that we've found while we're out and about. We have some woods out by our house, so when we see something cool, we'll scoop it up. And the other day we were out and found this really awesome log. It's totally hollow, and it was a perfect fit for this little corner. Really happy with that one. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.